welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with a collective love reading for Cancer and Leo. So this reading came requested by a few of my followers, subscribers, you know who you are. So thank you for the request and if you would like to see your specific dynamic, I can't promise you but please just pop it in the comment section below and I will endeavour to uh, work towards doing that reading. Uh, do check out the playlist folder for all of the compatibility tarot readings that I have already done. I like to set the intention that these readings are good for whenever you come across it. So if I have time stamped it, um, please just, uh, time is fluid you guys so if you if you're coming across a reading and it's time stamped I do want you to remember that it's fluid and if you feel intuitively called to listen to it or if you feel that it's your message right now please take it as your message take it as uh, confirmation that it's for you if this reading resonates please hit that like button to let me know you are able to reverse the roles in these readings um what else can i tell you if you would like to catch these kind of readings in the future be sure to subscribe i do highly recommend uh, to turn on that little notifications bell you will find it in the right hand corner of any reading and if you tap on that little notification bell, you will be notified of every time I release and launch a new reading for your sign. Okay, so I know some of you are like, let us know when the readings are uploaded. But if you do that, you will be notified. If it resonates, hit that like button. If you would like to make a small donation, there is a many thanks button there. Also, it is in the shape of a love heart. You don't have to, but there are options available to you to show your love and support. Let's dive on in, guys. We're going to open up the reading by taking a look at Cancer's energy first. So Spirit Angels and Guides, please show us the energy of Cancer with regards to their connection to Leo. So the lovers comes through cancer the lovers we have the knight of swords oops the knight of swords Please show us the energy of Cancer and the Six of Cups. We've got the Death card underneath, the Queen of Wands and the Five of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And the Ace of Wands here too, so two Aces. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Okay, brand new beginnings. Potential for new beginnings. Alright, so what I'm seeing here, Cancer, is I'm seeing that you still have a very strong and intense uh, connection to this person or you do have a strong and intense connection to this person for some of you it can feel like a twin flame connection or I'm using that twin flame uh, soulmate uh, label to describe that connection that you have to this person okay it's very passionate it's very intense I do feel uh, with the death card here, Cancer, that for some of you, uh, this connection that you have to this person or the relationship that you had to this person is over, it's ended. Okay, there has been some kind of an ending here. 
And if, if you have experienced an ending, you're still feeling connected to this person. Mm. Because the Six of Cups is here, which tells me that you still have an emotional uh, connection. You still carry a soft spot for this person. Uh, for some of you Cancerians, you may be finding that you're missing this person, especially if there has been an ending, you may find yourself kind of like reflecting uh, on better times uh, when things were really great between the both of you. Because it wasn't all bad. I am going to look at this death card though and try to understand this ending a little bit more. I'm going to have a look at it. I do feel with the Knight of Swords, I don't feel like this is your energy. I do feel that this Knight of Swords is your person's energy, okay? If there has been an ending, then I see this person swiftly coming towards you okay with something to say and with the six of cups here they may be coming in to say that they miss you um, or that they've had i'm getting like that they've had a dream about you uh, so yeah they're coming in to share their feelings here with you Now, if, if the relationship isn't over, um, oh, that's what I was going to say. Sorry, I'm just going to backtrack. I, I feel like this person's swiftly coming towards you with something to say. Uh, and I feel with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, it could be that they would like to have a, a fresh start here with you or a second chance, a new beginning, an opportunity to have an, a new beginning with you. Um this person still finds themselves attracted to you, okay, with the Ace of Wands. And with the Ace of Cups here, there could be some kind of apology as well, okay. So if this person has done the wrong thing by you, I just feel like they're coming in with an apology here. Hmm. Now, for those of you who are still in a relationship with this person and the connection is still there, uh, this death card would tell me that you want things to change. Okay, you're wanting something to change. Now, with the Five of Pentacles here, you're showing me, Cancer, that you're not getting what you truly want out of the relationship. You may feel that Leo is giving you the cold shoulder right now. Um, you may feel rejected by Leo. You may feel that Leo hasn't got any time for you. Uh, you may feel like Leo, yeah, just hasn't got any time for you or any energy here for you. But what's really interesting here with the Queen of Wands, I feel like you are asserting yourself. Okay, you're, you're asserting yourself. Queen of Wands, she's very assertive. She's very brave. She's very courageous. You may be finding yourself standing up to Leo. You may not be afraid to speak your mind here um, or ask exactly for what it is that you want. You know, you may be I'm feeling like with these two cards, Cancer, that you could be, uh, what is it? 
uh, I'm just trying to find the right words with those two cards. Like you're asking for what it is that you want. Mm. So for example, like I said, if Leo isn't giving you what you need in this connection, which that's going to look different for everybody, I will look at that, um, you're going to ask for it you're going to find the confidence and the courage and the bravery to ask for for it. Mm. You feel that you deserve something here from Leo that you're not getting. And if you ended things with Leo here, it, maybe you're feeling confident to finally end things with Leo because you're not getting what you truly want out of this relationship. So I'm picking up on lots of different scenarios and for those of you, for those Cancerians who are calling it quits, it's because you love yourself here with the Ace of Cups and you're finding your power, okay? You're, you're kind of like tapping into your own inner bravery and your own inner courage and your own empowerment to finally, you know, stand up for yourself and realize and recognize that you do deserve more and you do deserve better. And with the Nine of Pentacles here, for some of you Cancerians, you're recognizing here that you could be better off without Leo. Um... But I am seeing you, Cancer, being more confident. Okay. You're able to stand on your feet. You don't need to rely on Leo for anything. Um, hmm. I do see that you still are attracted to Leo. Uh, but besides the attraction your emotional needs are not being fulfilled. I'm going to have a look at this death card. Tell me more about this death card. For Cancer, tell me more about this death card. Okay, we have the Okay, we have the Empress. So literally Cancer, that's telling me that you deserve better. Okay, maybe you have ended the connection with Leo because you know with the Empress here that you deserve better. Ending things with Leo or putting a stop to something with Leo is a form of, you know, self-love and in self-empowerment and self-respect, self-respect, right? With the death card here for others of you Cancerians... Um, you feel Leo doesn't appreciate what you do or just doesn't appreciate you in general and you bring a lot to the table you bring a lot to the relationship you're loyal um, you're loving you're, you're giving and you feel with the Five of Pentacles that Leo isn't returning that, um, isn't meeting you with the same, okay? And you're wanting that to change. You want Leo to meet you with the same energy that you're bringing to the relationship. The Ace of Swords is here, so I see I see this as I don't know, I'm getting like a strength coming through this Ace of Swords. So for some of you, you are having the courage of your convictions here and you're speaking up. Now, for others of you, I see that Ace of Swords as cutting the cord, cutting the tie. 
it's kind of like a double-edged sword here for me. You don't really want to, but I feel with the death card, it's, it's come to that time, well, if nothing changes, then nothing changes, and it's the definition of insanity. Okay. The Page of Swords is here also, Cancer. So this could be you just kind of like running the, all of these stories through your mind or running all of these um, options, options through your mind. Like you're kind of, I'm just seeing like, a brain and you're scanning through all of the possibilities on how to deal with this situation let me take a look at the five of pentacles tell me more about this five of pentacles the four of cups is here so Cancer, Leo is putting some effort in. I can see it here with the Four of Cups. They are putting some kind of effort in, but it's not enough for you anymore. Okay, it's not enough for you anymore. You want Leo to invest more than what they're already investing. You are feeling breadcrumbed by Leo. And there's just something here that you're no longer tolerating, I feel, with Leo. Um, yeah, you're growing tired of uh, the same situation. You're losing interest. And with the Queen of Wands here, you are losing interest quite fast. Because the Queen of Wands, she is fire. So she is looking for change. Okay, if you say you're going to change, she's she's like going to hold you accountable. And you could be holding this uh, Leo accountable. Hmm. All right, let's go over to Leo's en energy. I'm just going to pop all these cards back into the deck, give the cards a little bit of a shuffle, and we will take a look at Leo. If any part of the reading resonates, Cancer, please hit that like button to let me know. Or Leo, you, you might, Leo, you may feel that you resonate with Cancer's energy, and it's a roles reverse situation. Okay, one more shuffle. Spirit angels and guides, please show us the energy of Leo uh, towards Cancer at this time. Please show us the energy of Leo towards Cancer. So the Four of Wands is here. Hmm. So just by looking at that card alone, Leo, I feel that you're looking for greater stability within a connection. Um, and I say greater stability because the Two of Pentacles is here. And then you've got the Four of Wands, which the Four of Wands is, is like a grounded energy. It's like the foundation of a relationship that's just grounded you know, the foundation of the relationship, it's solid, it's grounded. Um, and if you look at the people in the Four of Wands, like everyone is kind of getting along. It feels harmonious and peaceful and blissful here. But when it's coming in next to the Two of Pentacles, uh, you feel, Leo, that maybe the relationship, the connection, the situation is on shaky ground. Okay, you're feeling like you're teeter-tottering here. Or maybe you're not teeter-tottering because the man in this Two of Pentacles, he's got his feet firmly planted on the ground. 
you just feel that the connection's not exactly where you want it to be. The harmony, um, the equality, it's just not there. Hmm. You may be weighing up, Leo, uh, whether or not you still want to be in this connection. Or you still want to be in this marriage or you still want to be in this relationship. I see you kind of like weighing it up. You know, looking at the pros and cons. Hmm. Weighing the good with the bad. Let's see what else is. I, I do feel that you want tranquility. I do feel that you you want peace. You don't want drama. You don't want conflict. And I'm saying that because the water in the background is very still and then there's a cloud in the sky and there's a rainbow coming through. So you're hoping for things to get better. Yeah, you're hoping for the relationship to improve. Oh, the King of Cups is here, Leo. And you've got the High Priestess coming through also. Hmm. I do feel, Leo, that you have, for some of you Leos, you have a lot of love for the for cancer. There's the Knight of Swords. And I, I did feel like this Knight of Swords was your energy. Didn't I? Hmm. I'm just going to grab one more card. Uh, we have the Page of Cups. So Page of Cups, King of Cups, and at the bottom of the deck you have the Knight of Cups. That's a lot of water energy, uh, Leo. With the Ten of Pentacles. Well, there's the Five of Wands. And there's the Ten of Swords. So look, you just, at, at the end of the day, Leo, I feel like you just want the fighting, um, the tension to dissolve, dissipate, go away. You don't want to fight. You don't want to argue. You don't want the drama anymore. You just don't want a part of it. The Six of Wands is here. Hmm. I do feel for you, Leo, though, there are times here in the connection where you may, like, how do I put this? When things get too much, um, in this relationship, I feel like you turn uh, your attention to others or you turn your attention away from cancer and you go and get it somewhere else where people are loving on you and people are admiring you and people are validating you. Now, the Five of Swords tells me here that you might be doing this out of spite, you know, because the, the man in the Five of Swords, he wins, he, he's coming out on top. And the only reason why he's coming out on top is because he's doing something to undercut the other person. So it's kind of like a, it's not even a win-win, it's a win-lose. So you might feel good temporarily for doing this Leo but deep down inside it doesn't make you feel good 
or it's it's more like a boost to your ego okay it's, it's kind of a boost to your ego mm. yeah I'm seeing this high priestess energy as cancer's energy okay I feel like with the two of pentacles and the high priestess here it's kind of like you're saying Leo I, f I find cancer very difficult to work out I just can't seem to work cancer out sometimes because I'm seeing the up and down here of the two of pentacles and the high priestess can be mystery she's mysterious and you're like, I just can't seem to work cancer out. There are some days where we're getting along, four of wands, we're getting along famously and we're, we're laughing with each other and there are days where I really want to be around cancer. And then there are other days with the Knight of Swords, I can't stand to be around Cancer. I just want to detach. Okay. Hmm. I am seeing a lot of love coming in here from you, Leo, though. Big feelings. Okay. I feel like you are in your feels. Um, okay, let me just break it down because there's a lot of water here on the table, Leo. I feel that you do want to express your emotions and your feelings towards cancer. Okay. Now, if, if this is not you wanting to express your emotions and feelings, maybe, Leo, you're wanting that from cancer. Maybe you're wanting some kind of an apology from cancer. Okay. You're wanting some kind of explanation from cancer because the high priestess is here and this is passivity. This is passive energy. So you may be viewing cancer as being very quiet. Um, not giving you the attention that you want or that you seek from cancer. I feel like you're getting the attention from other people. Um, but not from the main person that you really want it from. Yeah. Now the King of Cups is here. So I feel that your heart is still open to Cancer, I want to say. Let's just clarify the King of Cups. I feel like your heart is still open to Cancer. Yeah, the Knight of Wands is here and the Two of Pentacles, but only just. I feel like only just. Like I said, I feel like there's some days that Cancer pushes you away and there's other days that you feel like you want to be close to Cancer. The Knight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, it does, it, this is mutable energy right here. Okay, it can change from one day to the next. It can change from one week to the next. It does feel like a very hot and cold, up and down, in and out connection, relationship. It does feel that way. Mm. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles does tell me here uh, with the Knight of Cups, that you want greater stability in this connection, in this relationship. 
I'm going to have a look at this Knight of Cups because I'm, I'm not sure if this is you. Okay, yeah, Page of Cups, Three of Wands. Page of Cups, Three of Wands. Some of you Leos could be waiting for Cancer to approach you. I feel like with the Three of Wands here, you're waiting for some kind of apology from Cancer. You feel with the Page of Cups that Cancer is emotionally unavailable with you. But isn't that funny? Because Cancer feels like you're emotionally unavailable with them. Mm. I honestly feel like what's missing from your connection with the Knight of Cups is the romance. I feel like the romance isn't there and it's become more of a relationship out of obligation for some of you, especially if you're married or you're living together. It's convenient um, it's become kind of like Ten of Pentacles to me. It's like it's a solid relationship. It's a committed relationship, but there's monot monotony. It, it feels monotonous. It feels mundane. It doesn't feel exciting anymore. The relationship, it, it's, it feels... Um, Yeah, I, I just feel like the romance is missing for you. I feel like, Leo, you're, you are romantic at heart and you feel like the, the romance isn't there. Mm. Yeah, that's what I feel. Let me just have a look at this page of cups really quickly. Page of Cups. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here for Leo? The Hierophant. Hmm. I feel, Leo, you might be seeking some kind of apology from Cancer, but you're viewing Cancer as being stubborn about it. Um... Mm. That's what it feels like to me. You want Cancer to prove their loyalty to you. So you may feel that Cancer isn't being loyal to you or isn't being committed to you. Um, because I am seeing on your end that you feel that cancer is emotionally unavailable. Yeah. You may feel um, that your values or what you're both valuing uh, from the connection is different. And that could be causing the struggle between the both of you or could be causing the tension between the both of you. I am curious to see this Two of Pentacles though for you. So tell me more about the Two of Pentacles here for Leo. Oh, yeah, the Two of Swords. You're in two minds about the connection, Leo. You're in two minds. Okay. I, I kind of feel, Leo, for you, you could feel like you're a little bit in between a rock and a hard place. And I think it's because maybe you have children, maybe you have a family with cancer, you still have love or a soft spot for cancer here. So there's kind of like a fight between the head and the heart for you. And Leo, you are very ruled by the heart. You, you're very much ruled by the heart and you lead with the heart. Hmm. And I feel like that's where the struggle is for you, right? So let's take a look at the possible outcome. Possible outcome of this situation. 
let's take a look at the possible outcome. I'm just going to give the cards a bit of a shuffle. Spirit, angels and guides. Possible outcome for Leo and Cancer and their connection or their situation right now. What is the possible outcome looking like for these two zodiac signs? Possible outcome. Okay, so we've got the Four of Swords. There may be a great need to take a break from one another or to take some time out of the relationship. Okay, guys, I do see it there on the cards. I do feel that both of you may need to take a step back from one another or just give each other some space. Maybe some space and time to work things out, to heal. Um, space can heal. Space also gives the other an opportunity to miss what they had or what they have. Okay, so I'm just seeing some time out here on the cards. I'm just seeing like someone calling time out or just you, you need a break from one another and it's really interesting because the five of wands is here okay you need a break from one another because there's too much tension and there's too much conflict and being around one another is only going to amplify that energy Yeah, and I feel like honestly, it's it's over pettiness. It's petty. It's petty. Uh, whatever you're squabbling about, it might not feel petty to you though. It might not. But this to me feels like it's a petty energy. Okay, um, and that you're just throwing stones at one another. That's what it feels like to me. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands here, and I did see that in your energy, Cancer. And the Eight of Cups is here with the Seven of Cups. So I do feel that emotionally both of you are confused. Okay, you, you feel really confused about uh, your situation. and what you should do or, or what you want um, I do have to say here with the Queen of Wands it could be a case of ego okay just ego getting in the way here mm. Some of you may feel like you're not sure here if walking away is the answer, like walking away from the relationship is the answer. I do see someone thinking about it. Um, but it's unclear as to whether or not one of you will walk away. It's unclear here. What is clear to me is when I see the Eight of Cups and the Four of Swords, this is a big fat time out from the relationship. That's what it is. Okay, we've got both of you not happy with the Eight of Cups, like the Eight of Cups is spilt over. Okay, um, emotions are running high especially when it's next to the Queen of Wands because what does fire and water do? It, it boils, okay? It boils and it bubbles over. So I do feel that emotions are running high between the both of you right now. And I just feel like space and time out from the connection is needed to really figure out and work out, you know, how to best approach this. Mm. Then we've got the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So the King of Swords is asking of you both 
to look at it from an objective perspective, like remove the emotion, remove the ego. This is big Aquarius energy. We are currently in Aquarius season. So I do feel that message or advice is very powerful here to look at it from an objective perspective, you know. Um, and I feel that if you do look at it from an objective perspective, you will see uh, which path you should best take. Because I am seeing this as emotional thinking. We need to remove the emotion out of it and then we are able to see much more clearly the best path forward, the best solution, uh, the best method. Mm. I do see in the overall situation you both analysing uh, what uh, approach to take. Mm. So let's just grab an animal spirit card and we'll close out this reading. An animal spirit card just as a bonus message. Spirit, angels and guides. Okay, look at that. Mouse. The mouse wanted to come through. This is earth energy. So I do see this as like a Virgo card for some reason. It's 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 in this deck the mouse speaks to analyzing, looking at the little details. So I'm seeing um much analyzing going on here. You know, really think things through with a fine tooth comb. Okay, do not leave any details out. Do not leave any stone unturned when you're, you know, working through the pros and cons, perhaps. Okay. Now, this mouse can also, for me, indicate nitpicking. So... I do invite both of you to take a step back and look at your actions. You know, where are you making a mountain out of a molehill? Where are you poking um, the stick at one another? You know, I just feel like this is that petty energy coming back in again. And then with the mouse trying to act all innocent and act like, well, it's not me, it's Leo, or it's not me, it's Cancer. You know? So that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know which part of the reading best resonated for you, uh, what, what clarity you got out of it, or what action you should take. Um, what became more clearer to you on what you should do. So that's where I'm going to leave the reading, guys. Much love to all of you and I'll see you soon.